Good afternoon. My name is Gene Knutson. I'm president of the Bellingham City Council. Alongside me is Mayor Kelly Linville. On behalf of the City Council and the Mayor, we send our deepest sympathies to our colleague Terry Bornman and his family on the loss of their beloved son Aaron. Aaron's death is a horrible tragedy and our hearts are breaking right now. We ask that the public and the media respect the privacy of the Bornemann family as they grieve during this difficult time. Out of the respect for Terry, the City Council will be postponing Monday night City Council meeting until the following Monday, April 13th. Letters of gifts or condolences can be sent to the City Council office at City Hall. We will ensure that they reach the family. At this time, we will not be taking any questions. We just want to reiterate again that we ask the public and the media to respect the privacy of the Borneman family as they grieve during this difficult time. Thank you. Well, Chief, clearly, you, you've known him for a long yes. time. Can you just let us know how it's, it's hit City Hall? Clearly, a horrible Well, I'll, I'll, I'll answer that. When it's City Hall, very devastated. I've been here 22 years. Terry's been here 16, and it's just been one of the roughest times that I can remember. Other than the Olympic pipeline blast we had in 99, this is hit home pretty tough. Yeah. And the police were saying today that, you know, this is one of those things where we hear time and time again, right? It always treat a gun as loaded. <laughs> and is that the, if there's anything that we can have come out of this, is that the message, at least, if nothing else, to come out of it? I would concur with what the police have to say. Yeah. And I would direct you there. I mean, it's an ongoing investigation, and that's that's where the but, questions I mean, need to be. What do you say to the people of the city in terms of that sort of thing? I mean, there's people who have, lots of people who have guns. Yes. What, what do you say to those folks? I mean, in terms of a public service, what do you say? All I can say is be safe and be careful. That's just a very sad day. Thank you very much. Well, and and I don't I don't have anything to share about the investigation though. I have um, spoken to Chief Cook, our police chief. Um, there is an ongoing investigation. We'll be happy to share the information as it comes forward. Um, but right now, I guess I'd agree with with Jean that we want to respect the privacy of the family. This has been devastating to them and we want to make sure that they have their chance to grieve. And as inf information comes forward, we're ha going to be ha happy to share it because we think it's important that we do that. For people who don't know much about Bellingham, you know, we have a big viewing area. Talk about, <coughs> about this town and, and uh, kind of the, the fabric of this community and to have something like this. Well, I'd, I'd be happy to talk about the what I believe the response in Bellingham will be, which is a lot of sorrow a lot of shock, um, a, a willingness to say what can we do so this doesn't happen again. We have the kind of community that pulls together when things happen that are unfortunate or disasters. We've proven that in the past. And so I think the, uh, the, the city family, and when I say the city family, I mean all of us, are going to feel a lot of pain for the Borderman family and they're going to say, how do we prevent these tragedies from happening? And that is a discussion that our community will have. And for people who don't know Terry, um, you know, I've only interviewed him a handful of times, but I know he's just a sweet man. Um, he's a Michigan State fan. Like I have. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, can you just tell us a little bit about him? I've known Terry for a lot of years. He was the, was the chair and I was the vice chair of the local Democratic Party years and years and years ago. Uh, Terry is someone with a big heart. As we know from the career that he had with the, with the juvenile division at the county, he's somebody who cares about young people. He cares about our community. And um, every council meeting, he's making some comment that indicates that his vision is, is farther than right in front of his nose, that he's looking out after everyone's welfare. And that's why I think the, the community is going to respond to their pain. Have you been able to speak with him at all? I have left him a message, but um, I was called um, early this morning, and I chose to let them have their privacy. They're, they were at the hospital, and I didn't see, think that was a place for me. I did leave him a message, and I said anything that I could do personally, anything obviously that the council could do or the city could do that makes this time easier for them, that we are ready to help any way we can. When you heard that news, it must have just like a ton of I was shocked. I was shocked. Yeah. Heartbroken? And heartbroken. Well, we all, well, many of us, I won't say we all have children, but many of us have children, and I can't put my pl myself in his place right now. I don't know how I would feel. 
um, and and uh, I just know it would be heart wrenching. Okay. Thank, thank, you. thank you. 